This video Tuesday. Welcome back to Great Photography and Video on a Budget. I'm George E. Harrison. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to get away from night photography for a while, but don't worry, I will be coming back to it. I'm going to show you how you can make the world look dreamy and surreal with a slow shutter speed. And what I mean by that, the same scene I would shoot at 60 frames per second at 1 60th of a second. I'm going to show you what that same scene looks, looks like. When I still shot at 60 frames per second, we shot at one fourth of a second exposure. So I'll see you on this other side, so let's get to it. This is what the fountain looks like. Shot at one sixth of a second at 60 frames per second. This is what the water fountain looks like. Shot at 60 frames per second. Slow down to 240 frames per second, still using the one sixth of shutter speed. Now this is what the fountain looks like, still shot at the same 60 frames per second, but using a shutter speed of one fourth of a second. It gives it this nice, cool, dreamy effect. This is what the fountain in Bicentennial Park looks like when you photograph it at one sixtieth of a second. But when you slow that down to one fourth of a second, then you get this really weird kind of cool effect. Is it here or is it there? What dimension is this really in? The slow motion shot is on the left, and the slow shutter speed is on the right. See the difference? This is another example of the cool effects you can get with slow shutter speed. You can create a ghost bike ride in the park or a ghost car riding by. Here's some more ghost riders. Ordinary walkers at the track can become ghosts of walkers past. Here's another normal looking shot of water at the fountain. But when you slow it down to one fourth of a second, it becomes a transparent mystical mist. Okay, now let us recap. Video on the right was shot at 60 frames per second at an exposure of 1 of a second. Video in the middle was shot at 60 frames per second, slowed to 240 frames per second, shot at an exposure of 1 of a second. Video on the left was shot at 60 frames per second, but at an exposure of one fourth of a second. See the difference? Well, what'd you think of my interpretation of what the world looks like at one fourth of a second? I hope you learned a little bit. And if you have any ideas or suggestions, please, please leave them in the comments. And also, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to go down to the little subscribe button in the right hand corner and, hit, and click it. And also, click the notification button so you can get all my new videos every Tuesday and Friday. And also, if you're watching this on Facebook, if you got any ideas or suggestions, you know, you know please comment because, you know, I'm open to everything. Well, just about everything. And as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. Again, I'm George E. Harrison of Great Photography and Video on a Budget, and I will see you Friday.